Alrighty, yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 here. Back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna react to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air season one highlights. So we're gonna watch all season one highlights on this little quick little uh 13 minute video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. It is amazing. You certainly have grown, Will. Well, we all have. Damn. <laughs> Did you enjoy the trip? Oh, yo, the plane ride was stupid. I was up in the first Excuse class, me? Man. No, I was saying the plane was dope. Excuse me? No, stupid, dope. Oh, no, that, that doesn't mean what you... Um, How would he say? The flight was really neat. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, John. Just a minute, son. No, no, no. We promised your mother that you're here to work hard. Straighten out and learn some good old-fashioned American values. Dad, I need three hundred dollars. <laughs> Hillary, your cousin Will is here. Hi, Dad, I need three hundred dollars. Damn. That's a lot of money, Hillary. What for? I need a new hat. <laughs> for what? Probably her head. <laughs> Look who's here, Will. Hey. Who is he? <laughs> your cousin Carlton don't you remember when you two were little people used to think you were twins you looked exactly alike oh well, yes some things never change <laughs> that's a really neat touch isn't it will oh yes it's definitely the cat's meow <laughs> wait till we come downstairs in those tuxes people may not think we're twins but I'll bet they think we're brothers you know I don't think you have to worry about anybody mistaking you for a brother <laughs> to be great your first formal dinner and tomorrow i'll introduce you to the gang maybe we'll play a set of tips or two <laughs> oh yes this is going to be wild <laughs> sir do you require anything further of me no jeffrey then i shall retire man he took that hard <laughs> I want to talk to you. About what? You know. From the minute you walked in that door, you've been a one-man wrecking crew. <laughs> trying to tear down what's taken a lot of hard work to build up. Skewering everything with your flippin' shenanigans. Man, I, I was with you up till skewering. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I gotta sit through an hour of them scratchy violins. Well, you might learn something. Yeah, the same thing I learned from banging my head up against a pole for hours. Don't do it again. <laughs> oh, Ash, the world does not need another Philip Banks. In fact, we might not have enough farmland to support the one we had. When I was a kid, I loved classical music, but my parents couldn't afford lessons. I used to stand out in the parking lot of the Philharmonic, hoping to catch a spare note on the night air. Philip, when I met you, you were into James Brown. <laughs> he liked James, James Brown? Even more his hair like him. Yeah, hair? Mr. Jazz. It's nice to meet you, Jazz. How do you do? I'm Mr. Banks. Got that right. Man, you loaded! <laughs> Observe, Will, this is how a perfect gentleman talks to a young lady. Say they're Mimi. Might I say that you rate a perfect 10 on my niftiness meter? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Will... There's something you have to learn. Sometimes, parents just don't understand. <laughs> Trace! That's okay, Vivian. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> Come in. Jeffrey, did you leave the door open? Well, no. Well, then I guess we must have left it unlocked. Well, no. <laughs> Still got it, man. Hi, I'm Vivian Wilson. 
Will, why don't you oh. introduce us straight to your family? I'm oh, sorry. This is my little cousin, Ashley. Hi. <laughs> this is my bodyguard, Jeffrey. <laughs> All of this is my Uncle Phil. <laughs> <laughs> to say that Daffy Duck must have a little brother somewhere? <laughs> Meet my cousin Carl. <laughs> Can't touch it. <laughs> 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 Jeffrey, would you take our first luggage to his room, please? Certainly, madam. So you're also a disadvantaged inner city youth, I hear. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked hey, man, up. what's with him? It's a tan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what up on the schoolyard, huh? Oh, school, man. I don't bother it, and it don't bother me. You don't go to school, Vice Trent? Oh, sure I do. I've been held back in the 10th grade three times in a row. <laughs> three times? Yeah, see, my motto is, when I find a grade I like, I stick with it. <laughs> That's ignorance, children. Is the that that is the ignorance, children. Do not do that. That's what I personally think. Like, who cares? You stupid. Oh, this is dope, man. I'm just gonna kick back here for a few days, let somebody else do all the work. Uh, excuse me, young man. In this house, everyone carries his own weight. <laughs> Too, Too easy. easy. <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Trey's on vacation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, my motto is, Lord, if there's anything like work around my heart, please remove it. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. I smell something greasy. Too easy. <laughs> oh, snap. Almost forgot. I got a little something for y'all. <laughs> That's our China dog. Yeah. Well, I figured y'all were so nice to me and everything that, hey, I don't need it. <laughs> <sighs> that was a joke. <laughs> Babe. Trey, you've become a part of my spirit that's never been touched before. I feel a oneness with you. And now that you're leaving, I just I have the sense that life will be empty, hollow, and meaningless. We'll, we'll peep this, babe. <laughs> See, I have this first class ticket. Now, we could go down to the airport, trade it for two coach tickets, and you could come back to Philly with me. What you think? Coach. coach. That's where you fucked up. That's where you fucked up. My man, Henry. Wouldn't it be nice if you could have your car with you in Palm Springs? What if you could find a nice, responsible young man to drive it there for you? Will, that's a super idea. Carlton, you're a nice, responsible young man. Damn. And you're an eminent, respected attorney. And your wife? is a dazzling beauty. <laughs> Yo, Jim, Emotional damage! I just heard a loud sucking noise. <laughs> Carlton, old sport, how do you like to drive my Mercedes to Palm Springs this weekend? You could hang around the retreat, play some golf, and you know the chicks in Palm Springs wear the skimpiest of bikinis. Well, I sure could use a good game of golf. <laughs> Punch it, man, we in a bed. Are you crazy? I call this a lucky break. A policeman is our pal. We can ask him for directions. Now listen to me, Carlton. When he comes up, keep your hands on the wheel. Good evening, Officer Carlton Bank. <laughs> Where you heading? We're going to Palm Springs and yourself. Where are you headed this fine evening? Good job, Carl. Now he's gonna want to see your license. Right. Can I see your license? <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? Now, I have to warn you, this picture was taken without my contacts. And the height is a typo. I'm actually a lot taller. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get it, this is not the love connection. <laughs> Vehicle registration, please. Just a sec. But the thing is, officer, this isn't my car. Bruh. <laughs> get out of the car, Carl. Hey, yo, what the he's fuck? He's tell us to get out of the car. You watch too much TV, Will. Get out of the car. <laughs> Officer, honestly, I don't see the need to. Hey, get out of the car now. What happened when I pressed this? You just don't see no car! <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? 
Cape Carlton. Thanks to you, we're already an hour late to Bikini Land. <laughs> so when they interrogate us, which they like to do, keep all your answers short and sweet. Will, I know how to handle this. I'm pre-law. <laughs> Okay, fellas, let's start at the beginning. Where are you from? L.A. Well, not exactly. Next question, please. <laughs> now, let's hear what your friend has to say. Actually, we come from Bel Air. In fact, we live two houses away from the Reagans. We have the same boy. Boy, if you don't get... <laughs> and where were you headed to? The desert. Next question, please. Not just the desert. <laughs> Palm Springs. We're going to a legal retreat. It's at Henry First Villa. He's my father's partner and the owner of the car we were driving. Oh, he is, is he? Then why didn't he drive it himself to Palm Springs? Because his wife flew everybody in her helicopter. <laughs> hey, why ain't no fucking okay, way, Okay, fellas. Why ain't no way, A lot way, of car way. thefts in the area lately. Why ain't no way, You want to talk about it? Okay, I think it's terrible. <laughs> you making fun of me, kid? You're the one who wanted to talk about it. <laughs> Quite frankly, I think it's a matter for the police to handle. <laughs> Emotional damage. The camera crew were present to broadcast live. What you are about to see is a Minuteman 21 news exclusive. Yes! We did it. <laughs> Where the big bird? Those three zeros. Fifteen jag and a Maserati. Back to the Lucky Sound Hosiery, so I took it back! Jack! Uh, do you have anything to say? Dad! Dad! <laughs> Is he gone yet? Jazz, did you hear any of that? Man, this thing is getting out of control. Look, I need a phony poet tonight. What does he have to do? Look, he just has to have a big afro, a dashiki, and stand up in front of a crowd and just read some stuff I write for him. He has to be able to read? <laughs> well, Jeffrey, before we get to your tea, there's something else we'd like to do for you. Carlton, put away that tired old kazoo, please. <laughs> get busy for me one time, skinny, hey! Happy birthday, my man G, but you know the most about Butler. We kiss it on warm and itch and say where you sit. We're gonna treat you like the king of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> I think your cousin's really starting to warm up to you. Yeah, right. What's wrong with you? Yo, man, peep out that babe G is with. You mean Wonder Woman? Yo, man, check this out. I got the worst luck in the world. Now, you know, all the babes I messed with in Bel Air have been whack, right? Follow you so far? Yo, I go to hook G up with an old British nanny. Turns out to be her. She don't look too old to me. I know, Jazz, she's perfect. Homie, I'm in love. I mean, Jay ain't even want to go out with her in the first place. I don't know what you guys do in Philly, but in L.A., we don't get stuff like that away. <laughs> well, I don't know what you guys do in L.A., but in Philly, you crack on somebody's honey, you mess around and get yourself killed. Well, I don't know what you guys do in Philly, but in L.A., we're man enough to take that risk. <laughs> That's everywhere. Hey, brother, you want to take this outside? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Go back. Oh, no, it's going back. But, oh, shit. My bad. Damn. I'm fucking it up. I'm spoiling another fucking video. All right, let's go back to this one. Pause it right there. Uh, yeah, that's just gonna about do it for this. I'll see y'all in the next video. Till then, peace out.